This is Mission Control Houston. We want to welcome you to Space Station Live. It's Thursday, October 31st, 2013. This is a live view inside the Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This team here today is being led by Flight Director Emily Nelson. She's sitting there at the middle console, sitting beside her in the white shirt, David St. Jacques from the Canadian Space Agency. He is today's Capcom, talking with the crew up on board the Space Station. Expedition 37 is busy and in progress currently on board the orbiting complex. The crew is working on a variety of different uh, experiments and other activities, uh, getting ready for quite a number of busy weeks upcoming. Luca Parmentano and Fyodor Yurchikin spent their morning uh, conducting some onboard training in advance of the Soyuz relocation that will take place on Friday morning. They're going to be moving their Soyuz that brought them and Karen Nyberg up to the station uh, back in May from the Rosvet module that's on the uh, Russian segment over to the Zvezda service module that's at the back end of the Russian segment. They're going to be undocking at 3.34 a.m. Central Time and redocking at 3.58. We'll have live coverage beginning at 3 a.m. Central Time uh, that morning, but this is going to be making way for the arrival of Rick Mastracchio, Mikhail Turin, and Koichi Wakata coming up later on in November. So again, we'll have live coverage beginning at 3 a.m. Central Time as they take a quick trip around the neighborhood and move their Soyuz over uh, from one port to another. Oli Kotov and Sergei Ryzansky are preparing their Russian Orlan spacesuits today for the upcoming spacewalk that will take place on November 9th. Uh, they're going to be doing a number of activities outside, but the main thing is they're going to be taking the uh, Olympic torch that's going to be part of the 2014 Winter Games uh, outside for a quick stroll. Uh, and that should be uh, gathering quite a bit of attention here on Earth as these two crew members do that. Today they're going to be installing the U.S. spacesuit lights that we use on our uh, NASA spacesuits and the cameras on their Russian suit so we can get a good view of all their activities that they're going to do on the 9th. Their spacewalk will begin at about 8.30 a.m. Central Time, and of course it'll be seen live here on NASA television. Kotov, Ryzansky, and Mike Hopkins also have some onboard training today with what's known as the Crew Healthcare System, or CHECKS for short. They're going to be practicing their CPR skills and also use the uh, AED. That's just like you would find here on the ground as a defibrillator that they use on board. They do this just to keep their skills sharp. Uh, as they uh, have sort of a mini hospital on board that they're going to be practicing with later on today. Hopkins also going to be working on something today called the reversible figures experiment. Research has shown that the way that the crew members perceive three-dimensional objects changes a bit when they're up in space. They have sort of different uh, visual cues and their brains and their eyes sort of act a little bit differently. So this research helps determine how the crews use what they call linear cues and different perspectives before, during, and after flight. What they basically do is take a look at some reversible figures or sort of an optical illusion if you've ever seen something like that here on the ground. And uh, they have sort of a, a trigger in their hand that they indicate uh, whether they're seeing A or B. There's sort of uh, multiple choices that they can pick. While he's doing that, Karen Nightberg is taking some surface samples around the station today, and she, Parmitano, and Yurchikin are also continuing their departure preparations as they get ready to come home in just a few days. This crew is about to wrap up almost six months up in space. They're going to be landing in just a few short weeks. But before that takes place, we want to take a look at all the different programming activities we've got here on NASA TV, beginning with the launch of Mastracchio, Wakata, and Turin coming up uh, on November the uh, 6th. Our launch coverage will begin at 9.15 p.m. Central Time. The actual launch will take place at 10.14. And then early on the morning of Thursday, November 7th, we'll have docking coverage at 3.45 a.m. Central Time as the crew gets up to the space station in about six hours, about four orbits of the Earth. The docking will take place at 4.31 a.m. Central Time. We'll be back later on that morning at 6.15 a.m. Central Time with hatch opening coverage. The hatches will be opened at 6.40. The crews will greet one another, and for the first time in a number of years, we'll have nine crew members on board the station at that point in time. Then at 8 a.m. Central Time, that is when we'll have a video file with video highlights of all the evening's activities in case you missed any of that. And then for the landing of Fyodor Yurchikin, Luca Parmitano, and Karen Nyberg, we also have a full slate of coverage beginning at 1.30 p.m. Central Time on November uh, 10th. The actual hatch closure will take place at 2 p.m. Central Time as the crews say farewell to one another. Undocking coverage will begin at 5 p.m. Central Time with the actual undocking taking place at 526. Our landing coverage will begin at 730 p.m. Central Time. 
the deorbit burn that will, t will uh, bring the crew back into the Earth's atmosphere and set them up for landing will take place at 7.56 p.m. Central Time, and the actual landing will take place at 8.50 p.m. Central Time. That will be 8.50 a.m. the next morning, Monday morning, there at the landing site. This crew is actually going to be landing uh, in the southern zone near the cities of Karaganda and Jezkazgan. Of course, there's two different uh, landing zones, both north and south, but this one will be targeted for the south.